Blessed dear M.U.S., we turn our thoughts to you. At Memphis University School, we take great pride in the Honor Code, which promotes character, integrity, and self-reliance. Though you may not be familiar with the Honor Code now, it is important that you know that it is in place for your benefit and will allow you many privileges that you may not experience at other schools. The MUS experience is special because the Honor Code promotes a community of trust. That trust gives you the freedom and security to focus on the things that are most important to your school experience without the fear that your possessions will be stolen or that others are receiving an unfair academic advantage by cheating. The concept of honor is the bedrock on which Memphis University School is founded and the Honor Code is the cornerstone laid at the inception of the school and supporting the institution. It is absolutely essential to the identity of Memphis University School. The administration and teachers here teach us to be men of strong moral character. And I think the root of this lies with our Honor Code, which is run by the students, for the students, and the faculty advises, but they don't really have an integral role in it. It's all student-run, student-elected, and it keeps a sense of community, a community of trust, you could say, around the campus that you can feel free to leave your backpack or your sports equipment or your laptop just lying in the hallways and not worry that it won't be there when you get back. And also on tests and quizzes, you don't have to worry about somebody looking over your shoulder. You know that you're putting forth your best effort and everybody else is too. Lying, cheating, and stealing sometimes, they can, while they seem rather basic, it, it can get ambiguous. Um, so for cases where, where a student may be unsure, uh, one of the great things about having a student-run honor council is that you know, your friends who are on the council are there to talk to. You, know, you can ask them. If they don't know, they can go to the council. But it's really important to understand that the obvious lying, cheating, and stealing are not ambiguous, but the ambiguous ones, we're always here to help and always here to discuss what is lying, cheating, and stealing. Uh, lying, cheating, and uh, stealing uh, within the scope of the honor code, normally this is just uh, being forthright and honest with everyone you have dealings with uh, at school. Uh, for example, uh, a lying offense would be lying to a teacher and saying that you had done the homework when you had not. Uh, in terms of uh, uh, forging a parent's name to a uh, note, those would be considered lying. Stealing is fairly obvious. If you go uh, take a book out of someone else's uh, uh, locker without his permission, that would constitute stealing. Cheating could involve plagiarizing an essay from the internet. It could involve looking on another student's uh, paper during a quiz or a test. Just the normal sorts of infractions of honor one encounters in a school environment. The Honor Council depends on student involvement. Each year, students elect the Honor Council representatives, including the Honor Council president. You can take comfort in knowing that your peers on the Honor Council will investigate each alleged honor code infraction with thoroughness, impartiality, and compassion. As students themselves, they understand the perspective of the accused while also being dedicated to upholding the concept of honor on the Memphis University School campus. I know that based on, based on being elected uh, to the council that, that my peers and, and the student body as a whole has, has put a lot of trust uh, in me to help make the right decisions for, for, for the good of the school and for, and for the good of the individual students that come before the council. So I think, I think with, with that, I take pride and, and feel responsible uh, for making sure that, that we do the right, that we make the right decisions. Clearly the Honor Code has a large role to play in the development of character, but it is also crucial in the mission of developing students who are well prepared academically because uh, without the environment where people are required to do their own work, um, we, we need to be sure we're creating legitimate performers people who are capable of the work, who do it uh, for real. Uh, they're not forgeries or fakes. When they get out of here, people will, will discover that if they do the work and apply themselves here, they'll be very well prepared. Not only does the uh, honor system here demand that you tell the truth and that you respect the property of others, it demands that you um, 
report the violations that other people in this community might make of that honor system or that honor code. If you see someone else cheating, for example, then you are honor bound to, to report that violation to a member of the honor council. Once that is reported to the honor council, then the person who is accused is notified that they are to meet with the honor council. They are told of the charges that may be against them. They're given opportunities to answer those charges. They ask, answer questions. If there are witnesses that can help prove that they are innocent, they are allowed to call those witnesses as well. The Honor Council then will weigh the evidence and what that person has said, and then they make a determination as to whether or not a violation has occurred. If the boy repeats a violation um, uh, or has excessive number of these violations, then we ask the boy not to be a student here at MUS. If he breaks faith, breaks the trust that we have within this community, then he no longer deserves to be a student here at MUS. This is a difficult job at times with the difficult decisions that have to be made. Some students come in here with maybe past experience, maybe a previous offense, and uh, the punishments, the, uh, the consequences become more severe, the decisions become more important, more difficult. Uh, so it, it's, it, um, in some instances, it's, it's a very tough job. In some cases, it's, it's really no more than just a teaching uh, kind of position, just to, just to kind of help guys, remind them or teach them what's the right thing to do and how they can um, become better going forward. I think the honor code just sort of becomes a part of you once you've been here for a while. I remember when I first toured here, I saw on the school newspaper there was a cartoon and at the bottom of the cartoon the words, on my honor I have neither given nor received aid in this work were on there. I thought, why would you pledge a piece of artwork? But once you come here you really come to understand that it's part of everything you do and you don't really see it as an option, you see it as this is how I have to live and how I have to spend my days here at MUS. The honor code is really very simple. It requires that each of us not lie, cheat, or steal, or tolerate those who do. Each of us, by our oath, is required to report any instance of lying, cheating, or stealing that we may observe. From time to time, you may find yourself having questions about your obligations under the honor code. As you become more acclimated to MUS, I encourage you to talk with fellow students and teachers about anything you do not understand. Everyone is here to support you, keeping with our mission of developing young men of strong moral character. Dear